Hello guys, some of you guys know already that a new Dune movie is coming out and if you have not read uh, Frank Herbert's seminal work Dune, in this video I will tell you all you need to know about Dune so you can enjoy the movie and not completely be lost without giving too many spoilers. Now enjoy. The story of Dune is spanned across six books, Dune, Dune Messiah, Children of Dune, God Emperor Dune, Heretics of Dune, Chapter House Dune. The story of Dune takes place roughly around 20,000 years in the future, where humankind have reached incredible technological advancements, which has allowed humans to travel throughout the known universe. And yes, there was a point where the advancements allowed them to create AI, but humans destroyed all thinking machines in a war called the Butlerian Jihad where humanity prevailed and prohibited the creation of artificial intelligence forever throughout the entire universe. So you may ask, where does the name Dune comes from? Well, there is a giant worm infested planet named Arrakis, which is also known as Dune. This planet is well known across the universe as being the only planet in the universe to produce spice melange. The spice melange, which is a substance that is used pretty much for everything. The spice, when consumed, it can weaken dormant abilities, like the ability to see the future and almost double your lifespan. However, once you consume it, you become instantly addicted. And once you start taking it, you can no longer stop because spice withdrawals can and will kill you. The substance is also used for space travel. It's pretty much the fuel of the universe. This is what they say, he who controls the spice controls the universe. The universe of Dune have multiple houses and they are all ruled by the Emperor Shaddam Karino IV. The book revolves around two enemy houses. One is the House of Atreides, which rules a paradise-like planet named Kaladan under the careful eye of Count Duke Leto who will be played by Oscar Isaac and the enemy, the House Harkonnen, ruled by a conniving, grotesque, sadistic, ingenious intellect, the Baron Vladimir Harkonnen, played by Stellan Skarsgård, who rules the planet Dune and subjugate its native people, the Fremen. The Emperor starts to become increasingly paranoid and filled with jealousy of the House Atreides' popularity throughout the Imperium. So the Emperor, together with the House Harkonnen, devised a plan to destroy Count Duke Leto in the Atreides' bloodline forever. As part of the Emperor's plan, the planet Arrakis is given to Count Duke Leto so he can take over the spice harvesting. Duke accepts this, not fully knowing what would happen upon his arrival. The Duke Leto embarks on this mission with his concubine, Lady Jessica, played by Rebecca Ferguson, and his son, Paul Atreides, played by Timothy Charlemagne. Lady Jessica, who is a Bene Gesserit, has been trained by the Reverend Mother, Gaius Helen Mohim. The Bene Gesserit have been influential throughout the Imperium, and through delicate selective breathing program, they have been instrumental in creating a messiah figure, a being of perfect vision, who would be under their control. This perfect being is called Kwisat Saturat, the one who can be in many places at once. I melt Bene Gesserit with perfect vision of the past and the future. Lady Jessica, who was supposed to be instrumental to the plans of the Bene Gesserit, but the love for Count Duke Leto led her through a different path which paved the way for Paul Atreides to become the central figure of the entire Dune universe. Our story takes up when the Atreides arrive at planet Arrakis, or Dune, with the Baron Harkonnen put a plan into motion where chaos, betrayal, and death pushes Lady Jessica and Paul to flee into the Dune Desert where they encounter the natives of planet Arrakis, the Fremen. The Fremen people are subjugated and systematically killed by the Baron Harkonnen nephew, Glossus the Beast Raban, played by Dave Batista in his Sardaukar army. The Fremen people, just like the Bene Gesserit, are also waiting for their own prophecy to be fulfilled and with the arrival of Lady Jessica and Paul, they feel that they have found their savior figure, Lissam al gai the voice from the outer world, and thus began the religion of Paul Muad'Dib. A beginning is the time for taking the most delicate care that the balances are correct. This every sister of the Bene Gesserit knows. 
to begin your study of the life of Muad'Dib. Then take care that you first place him in his time, born in the 57th year of the Parsha Emperor Shaddam IV, and take the most special care that you locate Muad'Dib in his place, the planet Arrakis. Do not be deceived by the fact that he was born in Kalanan and lived his first 50 years there. Arrakis, the planet known as Dune, is forever his place. If you like this video introduction of Dune, please make sure you hit like and leave a comment in the comment section and I will make sure to bring a second video further explaining the lore of Dune.